Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% Bloodborne. Let me make sure I'm recording. Stop recording. Good. Stop recording. Good. I do not want to miss another episode. That was very sad for me. I wanted to show this entire game and every little tiny thing in that one missed episode. Oh boy. Anyways, welcome back. We're in Yargul, uh, and we just got killed by this big old amygdala here. And, uh, yeah, things just worked out perfectly for him to be able to grab me at the exact right time. Ow! That was right to the face, my dude. Oh, oh, wow, look at you. Blocking me perfectly. That's really cool. That's really cool, Peter. Let's go up here, use one of these, immediately run over to the bell ringing woman. Bam, and a bam, and a bam. So killing the bell ringing woman once again will allow us to kill everybody and keep them perma-killed as opposed to them being resurrected by the bell ringing woman. Let's give you an R2. Look at that one, what, oh, bop. Ooh, do we have a roll one shot? Roll one shot. Yes, man, the Blades of Mercy are so nice. Oh my gosh. Yes, it is I who is powerful now. Okay, I wanted to kill all these guys as per my rule of killing everything once, but we gotta watch out for the amygdala, obviously. One, two. I don't know when it's gonna try to grab me. It's looking at me, though. It wants me. Are you gonna do it? Oh, you, how Cthulian. How Lovecraftian. Whoa. Okay, a little bit off there. There we go. A one and a two. Okay. And we just got these boys up here. Don't grab me, Mr. Amygdala. I'm just gonna run through real quick. A one and a two. I wall I also want you oh my god look at that no 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 why don't you grab this guy by the way you can grab these guys you know what what, what is it about them that's not grabbable huh Mr. Amygdala huh okay there we go so yeah I want to kill everything in Yargul given my Yar rule but it's very hard uh, because you have to locate immediately the bell ringing woman before you even attempt and plus everything here deals insane damage and I think unfortunately we are at the point where I should definitely have more vitality than I currently do. But that's okay. We're going to just play as best as we can and have fun in the process, right? Okay. Now, this is where we got to be very careful. Uh, there are items around. There's an amygdala there. Look at him. There are items around everywhere and drop-offs as well everywhere. See that cheeky item right every there. Let's go around every here. Now, am I being funny? Do you guys think I'm funny? Uh, am I a clown to you? All right, is this door locked? That door does not open from this side. That's fine. I think I definitely missed this item in my blood tinge playthrough, that's for sure. We haven't gotten here in our arcane playthrough yet. Bolt paper is excellent. I really like that. Also, uh, as far as I can tell, by the way, with the gesture thing, I'm gonna try to do it now. Yeah. With the gesture thing, there is no way to shut it off, as far as I can tell. There's, first of all, no way to do it on PS4. However, we're playing on PS5, and uh, yeah, I didn't see any option whatsoever to turn off motion controls, but I don't think it would work retroactively anyways, so that's really unfortunate. Now, we've got a bunch of ladies down there. We got an amygdala over there. Um, but the question is, where's our bell ringing woman? Uh, let's also make sure not to mi- Oh, I wonder if they would put it cheeky. Wait, what happens if you walk over and try to stab the amygdala? I'm not even gonna do it because I feel like he's just gonna explode me and insta-kill me or something. Uh, let's do one of these. Whee! Yep. Hello, it's me. Now, I think these ladies are gonna come back from the dead. So again, I think I'm pretty sure we have to find our bell ringing woman. Let's give them a smart R2. Gotcha. Oh yeah, hear that noise? That noise means exactly what I was just saying. Excuse me, ladies. I'll be with, oh, there you are. Hello, bell ringing woman. Hello there. One and a two and a three and a four. She's dead. Everybody gets stunned. Good time to kill as many things as possible. One and a two and a three. Three for the ladies. Whoa. Wait, are these ladies coming back? I feel like these ladies are still under the effect. Yeah. Hear that noise? They're definitely still under the effect of the bell ringing woman. Interesting. So there's another one somewhere. Oh, I think I know where she is as well. Okay, let's pick that up. So the bell ringing woman drops um, drops uh, quicksilver bullets for some reason. No. That's very rude. This door should open now, right? This is the door we saw earlier. Trying to explore this place in a very smart fashion where we don't lose our progress. Hello. Okay, now we got a big boy. Uh, we're going to press L1 and we're going to go for a parry here. Whoop! Look at that, that's a big jump. You almost did it, man. 3,046 damage from that repost, by the way. Casual 3,046 damage. I feel like if they disappear, that means they're coming back. 
right? I could be wrong. I, I never knew exactly. I typically run through this area a lot in a lot of my playthroughs. There's just area, I guess just a lot of the end game. You know, it gets very, very, very tricky. Uh, very hard. What is this in the corner, by the way? Hello? What are you? What does this message say? Don't you dare look at me. Okay, all right, all right. I'll give you your privacy. That's fine. Sorry. Okay, we got an item here, an air rune. I forget what the air rune does, but I think we already have some. Again, it's getting a little confusing keeping track of what we've gotten in the Blood Tinge slash Arcane playthroughs over on twitch.tv slash Grovata and what we have in this playthrough specifically. Obviously, we have everything in this playthrough specifically that we can't get thus far. There's an item here, which is Frenzied Cold Blood. Okay, guys, yeah, just keep looking at the walls. Are these guys alive? Like, what's going on? They're just skeletons, right? Okay, you guys hang out. I will be moving along. Okay, let's go this way. I didn't miss an item around this corner, right? Okay, yeah. Yargul, for the first part, where we are now, is somewhat easy to explore. But there will come a time where it is no longer easy to explore at all, whatsoever. Okay, now. The ladies are over there. The ladies are up there. And I'm trying to remember. There's a bunch of weird stuff. Oh, this is where we fell down previously. Okay, yeah. We need to find the bell ringing woman. So then we could kill all these ladies and not have to worry about killing them over and over again. I can hear the bell ringing woman somewhere. Where are you, my lady? Are you down here? Are you hidden? What's this? Bloodstone chunk. Hell yes. I think we need one more of those. I don't actually know where she... I th oh, I think right here. Yeah, let's fall down carefully. That's fine. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Grab this. Okay. Thought that was another one falling down. We can drop down there as well. So yeah, you want to drop down here, because guess what? You go in here. Oh, okay. Wow, hello. And then, yeah, there she is. That's who you want to kill. Now, this guy's going to get stunned. So what we can do is get behind him and visceral him. Oh, no, I had my... Oh. It's hard to tell, like I said. It's hard to tell if you have your one-handed blade of mercy out or your two-handed blade of mercy out. And that's what's giving me trouble right now. I'm just going to go for damage, though. God, we have so much damage. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, this room has given me a ton of trouble in the past. Now, the reason you want to fall off of that little hidden fall-off, that little hidden fall-off zone, is because... I'm just trying to make sure we don't miss anything that we want to drop onto now. Is because you can fall in the middle of this little cage, and you get a very important item. You get the Upper Cathedral Key, which we're going to go ahead and read, just because I like reading some of the stuff. The key to the Upper Cathedral Ward Seal. The Upper Echelons. I, I learned recently you have to pronounce Esh. Echelons of the Healing Church are formed by the School of Mensis, based in the Unseen Village, and the choir occupying the Upper Cathedral Ward. This key brings one a step closer to the choir. And uh, that's very important. That accesses an optional area that has some real interesting stuff that I want to give away just yet. Okay, hello, sir. I'm gonna give... Oh, crap. See, I can't tell. Do I have my gun? I can't tell. What do I have in my left hand? Oh, no, and it didn't lock on. It's trying to get me killed. Here, do something. Boop! I'm gonna give you one of these. Uh, I'm gonna... Okay. Wow. Oh, wow! Well, that was a turn for the worst. Jeez. Oh, don't you dare. All right, let's get in there and give you one and a two. Okay, thank you. I'm very aware that this room is going to try to get my goat. I'm very, very, very aware. Now, watch this. Quick step forward and do that. Look at that. These, blade, these blades of mercy just have so many different attacks. Back step, you know, dash forward. I don't know if that's the same. It's probably the same attack for that, but so many different attacks. It's so freaking cool. Okay, chest here, by the way. Right, I'm going to take a big swig of my water. I'm still very dehydrated at the moment. Ah, yes, the tiny tenitris. Interesting. Uh, is this an actual tool that you can use over and over again? Oh, it is. Cool. Tenitris is a unique weapon crafted by Archibald, the infamous eccentric of the Healing Church Workshop. This is a similar Morning Star maze that utilizes quicksilver bullets. When struck into the ground, it recreates the blue sparks that are said to surround the dark beasts. Like Archibald's masterpiece, this too is a superb conductor of the powerful blue sparks. So yeah, the Tenitris is a very, very, very fun weapon, um, and we're using it in our arcane playthrough because bolt and fire tend to increase with damage along with arcane, but also arcane is mainly used for like certain uh, magical things. So if you don't, if you want to see that, go follow the Twitch like I've been saying, because uh, we're currently in the middle of that. But that's a tiny Tenitris, which acts similarly to the full weapon, except it uses your Quicksilver bullets as ammo, basically. Uh, we're gonna go up here. I think we can now kill these ladies and be done with them entirely, but I gotta watch out for this guy. I don't know if this guy actually does anything. 
Feels like half the amygdalas, amygdalas do bad stuff, the other half just lets you be. Let me be, let me be, let me be, oh, I want to have be. Mr. Amygdala, let me be. Okay, so this is where we started. And then we came up here and we fell off of that little drop off, but we didn't clear the ladies that are up here. There's quite a few of them. So if we don't need to go for parries, let's go for damage. Hiya, hiya. What did you say to me? Did you just curse? Did you just, did you just say the D word? That's extremely rude. I would never curse in my entire life. Not even one time. I'm a very nice boy and I would never just kill an old woman like this. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, this is where you fall off to get the key. Again, very important. Don't miss that. Very good item. Hello. Oh, and here we go. Yeah, knew that was coming. Okay. So, welcome to one of the things the amygdalas do. They, uh... They do this laser beam, and it will blow you the hell up. All right, blood vials there. I'm just playing this one calm, cool, and collected, because this is going to get very... Oh, hi. You blend it in. Okay, so you can follow the laser beam. Oh, God. I did not think it was going to hit me there. And then uh, see where it goes. There's another old lady here. Yeah, so it's going to hit... There's a lamp, actually, directly ahead. I wonder if I should grab it. Um... No, I think we're gonna go this way. Oh no 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 Okay, that should be all the items up to that point. We have to go down where that laser beam is, but I'm gonna go down here real quick. Let's do that. And then where does this Oh, this just loops back around, doesn't it? But I just wanted to make sure that we didn't miss any items up here because we dropped down pretty quick without fully taking stock of where we were. And boy, oh boy, we have a very fun part of the game coming up. Uh very fun. And by fun I mean Almost, dro almost drove me to insanity when we streamed it the last time. And we haven't gotten to this part in the arcane playthrough, and I'm hoping that goes a lot better. Hopefully that build is much more, much more doable in that case. But let's go. Okay, so that should be everything up there or in there. And now we have to go back to the laser beam zone and run down ASAP and not get hit by the big old laser beam, which probably deals arcane damage, I would bet. Damage resistances are always a thing I'm very bad at in Souls games, knowing what does what against what. Although now I do know that fire is good against beasts and bolt is good against kin. So anything that's like, you know, Lovecraftian or Cthulhuian or whatever. All right, so let's see where this beam goes. Should be good. Let's run right past it. Thanks for playing, Mr. Amygdala. I appreciate it. I don't know what I'm appreciating, but... You know, trying to get in your good graces. Maybe you'll stop shooting laser beams at me, trying to blow me up. It's not cool. Okay, and guess where we are? So, if you remember, we went to the Hypogean Jail and killed Dark Beast Parl early by getting intentionally killed by the Sack Boys. You spawned directly above my head. That's where the lantern was. So, we're back here. So, this is when you get here normally. And we're going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, this is a great time to go back and, you know, do some other stuff because... Although, I wonder, can I get one more blood chunk? Oh, this part. Yeah, actually, that might be a chunk right there, now that I think about it. And there's another amygdala up there. We are one insight off of 60, which is an important number to have insight at. I'll say why later on. Okay, this part of the game really sucks. I've died here like four billion thousand times. I want to just drop down and see if that's a chunk. Cheeky guy hiding there. Is that a chunk? Dang it. Okay, these guys deal insane damage. And now we have, okay, and now we have dogs that will resurrect, so that's great, isn't it? But I'll show you all the hot tips where everybody is hiding. Let's go back to the Hunter's Dream. Goodbye! I was watching a speedrun recently where apparently um, something will happen. Apparently something will happen where if you're using the lamp to go back, you can actually get interrupted, but I forget what it is. It's some specific time. Oh, it might be fire or something. Yeah, if somebody has, like, a torch, they can, like, interrupt you. So that's something to keep in mind, but I don't think it's ever happened to me, to be honest with you. All right, let's run up and see if we can upgrade our blades. Oh, mercy whatsoever. And also repair, which is probably just a waste of blood echoes. I don't really... I don't think I ever... Yeah, we still need one more bloodstone chunk, but we're very close to be able to get this to plus eight. And then it's just more chunks after that, and then one big blood rock to finish it. Let's also see if we have any blood gem 
uh, augments here. So yeah, a lot of stat changes, but I'm not seeing very many blues. Uh, how about you? You're our last hope. Come on, give me something. Nothing? That's what I mean is like, if you get like bolt, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna just kind of reduce your damage, but then you'll deal bolt instead. Now, what was the air rune we just got? We got the air rune. What does that do? More blood echoes from visceral attacks. Nah, what do we have? More echoes, that's good. Boost max stamina, that's good. Visceral attacks, restore HP, that's amazing. And then stamina recovery up, yeah. All that's real good. Okay, so we can just level up now. And I think we gotta go vit. Our damage is crazy. We gotta go vit. Welcome. Hello. Very well. Let them become me strength, uh, please and thank you. Okay, this is getting us up to 1,000 HP, which ain't bad. Plus increasing our defense a little tiny bit. I don't know if that actually matters at all. And we had just Farewell. enough blood echoes to do it too, which is fantastic. Okay, goodbye. Love you. Let's go back to the chapel. How do we get back there though? I'm forgetting. Uh, abandoned old workshop. Yargul Unseen Village. Yargul Chapel is the one we're looking for. Really, really wish this was done better, the uh, teleporting. its I don't know if it's just me, but it's extremely confusing trying to remember where you have and have not been in terms of the, uh, yeah, how the lanterns are set out and how to, how to warp back to them. Maybe it's just me. All right, this part is the part that's, re oh, a skittering beast. Look at that, look at that. No, 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 no. Also, chunks. Oh, look at that. Okay, guess where we're heading. Whee! Yep. Yeah, see, that's the unfortunate thing, man. The skittering beast just not even seen. Like, I literally ran through there, but I guess we activated him, and then we flat out did not even see him whatsoever. And then he was gone. Gone without a trace. Okay, let's go over here. And once again, fortify weapon. Blade of Mercy plus eight. Blah, blah, blam. Okay, now we need seven more bloodstone chunks, and that is it. That's all the chunks we're gonna need for this playthrough, I guess. Because once you get to plus nine, you need a different upgrade mat, and Bloodborne is very stingy with that particular upgrade mat. In fact, in fact, they had to like update the game to allow you to get more because it was kind of uh, Bloodborne's very weird with how they do weapons. It's like they don't want you to experiment. It feels like, which sucks, because that's kind of, you know, all the fun with Soulsborne stuff is like, you know, switching different weapon stuff. Switching to different weapon types and utilizing different weapon types and yada yada yada. Okay, we gotta go find the bell ringing woman and not get chomped here. The bell ringing woman is here. Oh, oh, almost. Okay, go for the dogs. Dogs are priority alpha. Priority alpha. And there's another one and I don't know. There you are. Okay, give you one of those and one of those. Ow. Oh yeah, wow, we're doing way better. The last time I was here with Blood Tinge in the Blood Tinge playthrough, I was taking insane damage here. This guy with the gun up here dealt like basically half of my HP. I don't know why that is, because like we have a similar build now. You know, we're probably just way higher leveled, I guess. It didn't feel like I was that much off though when I was doing Blood Tinge, but we were getting absolutely destroyed here. It was so rough. So yeah, it's looking good looking like we'll be a lot better. Let's go for the gun guy first, sir. Do you know that that hurts people when you shoot them like that? Huh? Ah! Oh, wow. That was like just off of the parry timing, I think. All right, let's try to go for a visceral on this guy. Where are you running, buddy? Where are you running? Hiya! Oh, that damage though. Oh, I was gonna... Wow! See what I mean? I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about this spot in, in, in specific. Well, I think it was because I got counter hit there. I was like in the middle, in the middle of a roll. And so like, since we were in the middle of a roll, I probably got one shot. That's probably been a lot of our deaths in this playthrough thus far has been taking massive counter damage. Okay, let's speed run this now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just enter the zone and I'm gonna go to that and I'm gonna do a big jump here. Whee! Yep. Okay, that dog has my souls. Gonna give you an R2 and an R2. Everybody gets stunned. Okay, give you one of those. Thank you for my souls. Let's get the big boy. Give you one of these. Give you one of those and one of these. Ooh, that needed to, yes, that needed to land. Why did that take so long for, oh my God, what are you doing? Okay, and no thank you. Yeah, now this guy's not dealing any damage with his gun, bizarrely enough. He was dealing crazy damage previously in my last playthrough. Oh, I'm coming for you. Yeah. 
Hit me with your best shot. Fire away. You got you got a very finite amount of time, sir. You better you better you better get ready. I'm coming. Do you feel it? Do you feel it in the in the air tonight? Do 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 do. Bam bam. Thank you, ma'am. Sir, sorry. Give me some bullets. You're shooting me. It's like a rule. You have to give me bullets if you're shooting a gun. What? Okay. Good. Now I've yeah I've been through this run run back over and over and over. I heard you. I'm just gonna say I heard somebody shuffling around the corner. Eight blood vials there. Wow, it's almost like they're telling me something's about to get extremely difficult. Hmm. Let's go into here. So, yeah, we've been here before, actually. Let me take a big swig of my water. We've been here before. The lantern was right here, but it's broken, as you can see. So, yeah, if you want to do Parl early, make sure to do it the way that we did it. Uh, otherwise, this is when you can go and kill Parl, at, at which point you are incredibly overpowered. Nightmarish rituals crave a newborn. Find one and silence its harrowing cry. I think we've read that as well. Our goal is going through out that door. But, here we go. And people probably know why I am very hesitant here. That man in the middle there. That man in the back there. And there's a man down there. So, this is like the hardest... One of the hardest fights in the entire game, I would say. And I'm trying to... Re I think we just... Um, let's just go for damage right off the bat. Can you buff this? I forget. If you can buff this, that's astounding. No way you can buff the Blades of Mercy, right? There's no way. Yeah, that honestly would be way too powerful. Okay, this part sucks. Um, yeah, it's just bad. I'm probably just going to shut up and concentrate. I'm just trying to think who I should go for first and if I should have my gun out to parry. No, I think I'm just going to run down here and go for this ASAP. And just go, yeah, see this little guy hiding? One and a two and a three and a four. So as soon as you aggro... Oh, no, 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 no. All the other dudes are aggroing right now. They're all running after me. FYI. Yep, here they go. Okay, and this one dude has a cannon. Um, and yeah, it's just awful. So, let's try to go for parries now. Let's try to go for parries. This guy's the one we have to kill first. He's so low. Oh, boy. Okay, come on. Oh, you're just gonna walk up and then not do anything. Cool. Okay, so yeah. Uh, I honestly should have seen if I had Molotovs. I need... Where is the dude we've dealt damage to? Is it him? It's him. Okay. Kind of freaking out a little bit. I'm not playing very uh, intelligently at the moment. Okay. So one guy also has a cannon. This guy here. And he will screw everything up. Fun fact. Okay. Good damage there. Good damage on the beast guy. Okay. Um, I need to go ideally for a parry. But yeah, this dude's being very weird. Wow. Nice whiff. Okay, and we're running. And we're running. Yeah, this fight is just, honestly, probably the hardest thing in the game. Or at least the top two hardest things. Alright. No, I need the I need the other dude. I need the one dude that's not coming. Here we go. Okay. Buddy, literally work with me here, man. Turn or go around the corner. Do something. I need you to work with me here. Okay, nice one. I need to get a parry on this guy. That would be amazing. Oh, that was so close. No, no! Oh my god, that whip does so much. Gotta watch out for the cannon guy, too. The cannon guy will just one-shot you. And he's up there. I don't even know what he's doing. I gotta try to isolate. I gotta just go for... Oh, the cannon guy. Yeah, I'm so scared of this guy. If he switches to the cannon and blasts us. Okay, do we go for an R2 here? If we just get hit by one, the problem is... You get chained into everything else, obviously. Let's try to give him one of these. Oh, my God. It's just so hard getting even a hit off with the constant attacks. Okay, let's go for one of these. Good. Okay. All right. Yeah, great, man. Need them to literally just get around the corner, and they won't do it. Okay, where's this other dude? I'm very scared. All right, let's try to go for a parry. Uh, this guy. Yeah. All right, let's... Nope. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna run right past you. Yeah, this guy with the Rosa with the with the with the flame sprayer. <sighs> Alright, let's go. Come on, do a thing. Just need one parry on the other on the dude we have weakened. But yeah, he is not Ooh! Okay. He is not working with me. Every time he's like walking up, he just says, nah, and he like goes the other way. Oh man, okay. I need to get a parry here. Yeah, see? He just runs up and baits me. It's like it's like a, it's like it's a real dude. I just don't know. We have such a short-ranged weapon. It's hard to get anything going here. Oh! No! See, like, you get, get hit once. 
Okay, that's pretty... Oh, wow. Nice snipe, man. Nice snipe. All right. Just trying to one-shot this because we got stuck here for so long. Oh! Okay, come on. Just need to parry one of you. No, I don't want that. Okay, we should probably go for Beast Boy. Let's go for Beast Boy. Oh, but I can't. Nope. I, anytime you try to attack, it's just immediate. Nope. Okay, I need Beast Boy to just get separated, and then we're all good. Yeah, see, like, come on, man. Let me land an attack at the very least. Okay, we got five blood vials left. We gotta get something going here. This is so silly, man. It's just you can't be offensive at all. Oh, boy. All right, no, dude, what am I getting stuck on? Oh, I think we have a Yosefka's blood vial. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Focus up, focus up. I just have to land a hit on the freaking beast guy. I don't want you, man. I'll save you for last, man. Leave me alone. Okay, let's see who comes down here first. Bait and an attack. Unreal that that hit me. Unreal. This guy is so low. Uh, look for your opportunity. Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? Uh, I knew this was going to go bad, but it's going worse than I expected. We have two blood vials left. We kind of have to play perfectly here. The, the one saving grace. No way! It's just they interrupt you every single time. Anything you try to get going. All right, we, got to get, we have to get a parry here. Ugh. What can I do? I'm trying to rack my brain thinking of like what I could possibly... I'm just going for the beast guy, I think. Come on, man. Do an attack. Do an attack. Stop dodging. He just jumps around. He just jumps around. Uh, I, I wish I just had some blood tinge so I could like snipe this guy. We got seven shots left. Gonna keep my eye on this guy. Nope. Come on, you're so close, man. I need to whittle him down so that we can one-shot him. It's just like, this fight is so set up to be perfectly difficult. Like, every little opportunity. Yes! And then one-shot by the cannon immediately. You see what I mean? ludicrously did like just not fair on any level at all not fair on any level but thank god if i had gotten one shot by that cannon and then and then i didn't get anybody there because they don't respawn so that's the one saving great if i had gotten one shot by that without killing anybody i i would have been i would have been so so freaking sad okay so that's one down out of three and unfortunately we whittled down the other dude which doesn't feel great but all right, so we're gonna run right through. If you can run past all these dudes, and some will follow you in, but most won't. Let's go over here real quick. So yeah, I, if that one guy is still alive, I'm gonna cry, genuinely. All right, let's see who followed me. Yeah, a couple guys always follow you here. Ow, ow, enough, enough. Okay. Thank you. I was going to say, if you want to drop a blood vial. All right, now we can be a little more aggressive, thankfully. Here's our blood echoes. And then, the beast guy's dead. So now, the guy is still down there to the bottom right. I think I'm just going to go right for this dude and go extremely aggressive. Now is not the time to gesture, please. I wonder, can I sneak up on him and get a visceral? They won't aggro you until you aggro one of these three dudes. So, if you can walk up behind, perhaps, I might be able to use a, uh, a blue elixir. I do have my... Oh, this might work. This might work. Okay, I'm going to do this and then just go absolutely ham on him. Hell yes. Now, the other dude is going to be running over here, so we got to go fast. Come on. Come on. God, they back up in such a perfect way. No! No! Just let me... Oh, my gosh. It's so freaking disrupting. That unreal! Oh, this fight drives me insane. Absolutely insane. So, yeah, last time I got here, I got stuck on this spear guy for a thousand years. 
I like I, I killed the other two and then the spear guy I just could not get him down and I was getting like unbelievably salty on stream anyways I'll see you guys when I can whittle these guys down because this is just this is just an effort in attrition basically okay so I think I have a good strategy for this and I'm gonna show it off so yeah like I said all we have to do is kill one by one and then we're good so I just did this and I got screwed over, but it's okay because I'm so used to it with this with these three guys If we walk slowly and get a visceral on this dude down here We deal insane damage. He was literally like I don't know 10 HP off from dying and then we would have been good But of course I missed like my r2 and then wasn't able to do it But anyways, we might be able to chain viscerals on this dude. So let's give that a go I'm gonna grab my blood echoes hold r2. So yeah, if you sneak up, you can totally do it hold r2 uh, and then just try to do it again, and if it doesn't work, I'm just gonna try to go absolutely ham with him. So here we go. Oh my god, I forgot I had. Uh. <laughs> this fight, man. I just... At a point, it just becomes like... <sighs> yeah, I can't... Like, the range is... Okay, well, here we go. Alright, let's try to... Yeah, let's... I, I have nothing to lose at this point. Will he follow me down here? Alright, let's go. Oh, man, see, it, uh, I need to, I wish there was just an easier way to know when you have, oh, I wonder if I could do this, wait a second, wait a second, yes, okay, good, all right, here we go, we're just gonna give it, give it our all, I wish there was an easier way, see, like, right there, I thought that I had my gun out, I keep thinking I have my gun out to parry, and it's so hard to tell with the Blades of Mercy specifically, all right, let's see, how do we do this, I need to go for him when he does that, that's when I need to go aggressive, Great damage there. Okay, the other guy switched. We gotta watch out because he might use the cannon now. Now, if we can bait this guy a little bit closer. Yes! Oh my god, that feels amazing. Now, this guy can one-shot you with the cannon. So, just gotta be careful. Madman's knowledge. This guy doesn't know what to do. I'm gonna be aggressive now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Transform. Okay, okay, okay. Just gotta watch out for the cannon. Okay. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I know he's gonna do it. <laughs> All right, do an attack so I can parry you. Come on, man. You're acting so weird. Dude, see, I thought I had my dang gun out. Oh, that is throwing me off bad. Uh, I just wish, like, the blades would glow or something. Like, some... Because it's hard. You have to literally look for your gun. You know what I mean? Okay, just cannot get cannon shot. Okay, we have 18 bullets. Just need to land one parry, and we're good. Ow. Literally one parry, and we are good. And this hell will end. One parry and we're good. Come on, do an attack. Do an attack. Thank you! Watch him live with one HP. What? Are you serious? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. God, thank God. That was a million times better than the last time I attempted this. And for anybody that's ever played this game, I, I don't care how good you think you are or anything like You know, I'm sure people have this down, of course, but I'm saying... God, if you're like a casual like me, uh, this is the one spot that will just absolutely debilitate you. So I'm so glad that that's over. Anyways, there we go. That's the three hunters dead. I didn't expect to spend like half the episode on that, to be honest with you. But it is what it is. We'll pick this back up in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you there. Thank you to my patrons for supporting me in what I do. Bye-bye. <laughs>